Don, you said to make it keep the number so we can remember it, so we have one out. I was talking. <laughs> okay, so the board's returning to regular session at 7.01. We have a student hearing, and the board's taking action on that matter. It is a confidential matter, so uh, we'll not be making any further comments on that. Okay. Uh, like the next item we have is approval of the minutes of the October 15th, 2013, 2013 regular meeting. Uh, second. Curry made the motion. Mr. Wilkerson seconded. Is that an all yes vote? Yeah. yeah. Okay, public comments. Nobody on the pink sheet? Mr. Huffman? Mr. No. <laughs> Mr. Mickey, sorry. <laughs> Lori, when I look at you and I see him, it makes it just it. <laughs> nice. And, I'll tell you the rest of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Part of the city. You ready here, Jim? That's what I'm going to do. If I, can, I can't I mess it up. <laughs> I better shut up while I'm ahead. Here. I'm not sure I'm ahead. Okay, no, we don't have any public comments. So uh, we have a presentation from the Hamlin PK staff, PKH staff. Ms. Ferguson, principal of Hamlin. Glad to have you this evening. Glad to be here. You're, you have a stay. Well, first I want to hand you. While she's uh, handing out uh, these folders, uh, I did ask Mrs. Ferguson and uh, some of her staff, or all could have been all of her staff, to come tonight to present um, what they did um, on the retreat because all had approved their um, time away from school and I felt it was very important that they share that with you all so you know what they uh, had been doing during that period of time as well as uh, some positive things that uh, you're going to find that is going on uh, at Hamlet Pre-K-8. We're very proud of what they're doing and uh, so appreciative of what they do every day. Well, it's our pleasure to be here tonight, and we're thankful that you invited us to share the good things that are happening at Hamilton K-8. Um, we're going to just let our slideshow run as we speak, so you can kind of just watch it, and because it's about, it's about 12 minutes, and the um, light's okay. Maybe. If it starts. Oh. We can turn one set of lights off. <laughs> yeah, then we won't, maybe won't be seen. Sean's our wife. It's our cue. That's good. Cue. <laughs> oh, That's good. Yeah. We don't want to miss anything. And, um, thank you, sir. Well, I'll just start out in your folder. I did put in there one of our magnets that we made for our, we handed that out actually this year at our open house. And um, we made that just as kind of a reminder to parents and students to that things that they need to do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis to keep up with their their children and things that they needed to um, to do. We also included in the packet a our actual um, agenda for our retreat this summer at Glade Springs. And we were lucky enough to have that after our test scores came back, so we were able to do a lot of data analysis, which they'll talk about that here in just a minute. Um, I do want to tell you about, when we get there on Sunday night, and this is the second, well, it's probably our third year that we've had a retreat, and, but it's the second year that we, we met on a Sunday evening and we had dinner all together, but then we had a team building activity, and um, you see that now, <laughs> right there. And what we had to do was build houses, and then we got to shoot them <laughs> and try to destroy each team's house. So it really, it's amazing what team building activities bring your staff together, and you just kind of get to relax and laugh and have a good time. And, um, and you'll see more as it goes on. But we really um, enjoy that bonding time of a retreat. We're sad because we would not have the funding to have this again this coming summer, but um, we really um, have enjoyed our retreats. And as you can see the agenda, and they'll go through those daily, it was pretty packed. We, we made sure that we were busy from morning to evening, 
and the good principle that I should be, I gave them homework every night. So they had to read a chapter in the book. Um, I read it, but I just don't get it. And we would discuss that the next morning in teams. And we are, we haven't yet got back into that because of the groove of school getting started, but we're going to finish this book study. We went through chapter four on it. So um, had some great conversations about this book. If you've never seen it, it might be something you want to get. And had a lot of conversations about ourselves and how we were in school and how reading was for us. And it was really, really good conversations. Okay. Would you do me one favor? Mm -hmm. Would you introduce everybody? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done that. Of course, you know who I am. I'm Rebecca Ferguson, principal. This is Chastity Graham, assistant principal. And I have with me um, Holly Bar Baumgartner. She got married on me. <laughs> um, she is our eighth grade English teacher and sixth grade this year. And this is Randy Shaw. She is our um, seventh and eighth grade social six, 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 studies. We move things around. Yeah, and virtual studies. And virtual Spanish, <laughs> and Lori Huffman, our second grade teacher. Thank you. Okay, day one, well, um, when we started on Monday, we had several activities. We always started out the day with our discussion on our book study. Um, when we do continue our book study, we're going to set up um, like a wiki on um, a website called Today's Meet. We'll develop a room and we will have discussions through the computer about what they have read each night. We talked that day, Ms. Ferguson and I addressed the staff about the new accountability system um, and the flexibility waiver and how our school has been classified as a focus school for this year. Um, we talked about um, the Smarter Balance Assessment and how that will be coming down the pike in 2015, um, although some schools would be chosen to be pilot schools for that in 2014 but we hadn't heard any information on that yet. We also met and uh, worked on our data analysis um, and individual student achievement, which is very important because once we start back to school, that's a piece that we already have looked at and will help us to guide our instruction at the beginning of the year. Um, another exercise that we did was something called table talk. And if you will look in your packet, um, we have given you some examples of the tabletops that occurred with our staff. We focused on a couple different areas, which was attitude and leadership, which we feel are key elements um, in a successful school. So you can see um, the teachers uh, addressed certain questions that we posed to them about leadership and the importance of leadership. Um, as well as attitudes. And we even had the staff to come up with their own quotes on attitudes. We had different quotes throughout the room um, and how they thought that that was an important part um, of their day-to-day -day classroom environments and the school environment as a whole. I feel as though we have come a long way creating a positive culture and climate at, at Hamilton PK8. And I think any one of you that would step into that building would see that as a very welcoming and inviting place for children to be, as well as faculty. Next. Well, that was day one and two. And I'd like to point out, also, if you look at those daily agendas, you'll see, and we're so proud of this, that all of our presentations and all of our work was completely in-house this year. And we've really come a long way, and I think that speaks volumes for our school climate and culture and our staff. All the important people who come to our school do the training and say that's where, you know, the ideal school needs to be is where you can do everything on your own, and we did our data. And um, on the third day, we, we started working on our literacy model for the year. We had gone to a conference, a model schools conference in D.C., um, I'm not sure exactly how many, maybe 10 of, 10 of us or so, eight, um, and learned a whole bunch. It was just a magnificent conference, and basically we stole um, a literacy model from a model school who's been a model school for 10 years, Brockton High School in Massachusetts, and this school, countless other schools have stolen their model too, <laughs> and so we came back and presented it and kind of tweaked it to fit our own needs. 
And if you turn in your folders, there should be a handout that starts with sentences, I'm trying to find it here, or types of sentences, and it's a schedule. And so our literacy model, we started with writing this year, and we'll add to it as the years progress. But with writing, it's twofold, and we're starting this year with our four types of sentences. So on the middle school side, we're focusing on each of the, the two, or the four types of sentences um, throughout the year for about two weeks at a time. Um, so that's to ensure that the kids get really used to it. We've noticed a trend where they just weren't weren't getting it and um, the test scores certainly showed that too and then of course on the elementary side obviously you wouldn't start with a compound complex sentence in first grade um, so they tweaked it um, to fit the elementary students as well the second part um, of that literacy model is our open response writing and there's another handout that talks about that and basically we're just teaching all of our students to go through this process to read the question, to circle keywords, underline important information, and then write in their own words and develop, um, develop their answer with, with textual support, which is very common core. And of course we tweak that to the elementary and middle school um, needs as well. That's our, our literacy plan. And I'm going to talk to you about day four, and I'm going to set this up. And uh, we started out, this was sort of our um, everything else day that we tried to get in before we had to leave. And on this schedule, it started out with a PLC teaming presentation, and our seventh grade team actually presented to the school about um, how we handled our teaming situation and how we address student needs in particular and how we ran our meetings. And there are a couple of handouts that we included in uh, the packet as well. And if you look, um, this handout, and there's no name on it, this is an actual uh, meeting that we held with the student. And we started with um, the date, the issues that the student was facing, possible solutions and where the teacher could come in as support. We set a date to come back in and review this. We set goals, the parent was actually involved in this as well. Um, rewards, which uh, those were strictly for the parents. I mean, there was uh, the parents' responsibilities to help with the rewards and the consequences as well. And all of us signed off on it. And then the next paper is actually the uh, the review uh, meeting that we held with the parent. And you can see that there's not nearly as much stuff on it. Um, and I mean, there's a good thing because we we did this with several students. We targeted several students based on academic performance, not just test scores, but actually what they were doing in our classrooms. And um, we saw a significant growth in them um, behavior-wise as well as academically and performance on the test. This student actually increased in all subject areas and over 99 points in social studies alone. Uh, that I, I we couldn't find the slide that we presented with that actually had the the um, the data to back up what we did and we met with them repeatedly with the, the teachers and with the students and we presented that the next um, sheet is actually the test talks that we held with um, and all students in the middle school um, had a test talk with one of their uh, grade level teachers we reviewed with them um, how they did on West Test for 2011 uh, 2012 and then helped them set goals for 2013 we looked at their current grades as well as their SRI and SMI scores. We looked at their strengths and weaknesses and suggested strategies. Um, some students have test, test anxiety. We talked to the counselor, she addressed those needs in small groups. Uh, we even had some students that said they felt like they were stressed out because other people were finishing before them and we offered another testing room for them and those students all scored significantly higher. Um, we went back and checked on those things. So um, this works uh, and we, we talked a lot about that. Um, as far as teaming goes and PLC and I didn't bring a, um, an actual um, agenda. The next thing we did breakout sessions and the elementary and the middle school split so I can only specifically talk about what happened with the middle school stu students but this is the ILEAF program and this is what our middle school students are doing with um, AA and this year our advisor adv advisee character ed program um, we did it somewhat differently we mixed the kids up so in every AA class there's sixth seventh and eighth graders 
and we have what are called houses and you have four teachers to each house it's sort of if you've ever read harry potter and they have different houses um, we have competitions and they compete against one another and can earn points um, academically um, we do like flash flash um, we did the door decorations for homecoming so it's um, equal as far as if it's academic performance behavior wise of course uh, and there's consequences for for behavior as well uh, but this is supposed to help uh, the students not just to um, to see that they are leaders in their school and that they're responsible for their school and that uh, they should encourage one another and we're hoping that it'll build relationships between the grade levels uh, decrease the bullying that goes on or the possible bullying that could occur later on um, and just kind of set a different tone for the kids as a whole because they get to know each other and they're not as separated as what they were before and the last um, thing one of the last things that we did and I think it's um, maybe the last um, uh, page in your packet is the Hamlin PK-8 school expectations and this was actually um, we discussed this as a whole but we started out with a model which came from North Middle School um, that some of the teachers had an opportunity to visit back in the spring and uh, a lot of it was just again about positive attitudes it was about um, the manners how you treat one another and that's where we started at and um, and we've really stressed this to the students how you talk to each other um, the expectations between um, how a teacher treats a student how a student te treats a teacher parents adults uh, custodians cooks everybody's part of the community and um, we cho we picked uh, some out we changed some things but this right here is the uh, the end result of what we worked on and what our goals are for this year so that is my day four <laughs> I guess I'm last so um, the part that I'm going to speak about is we attended um, meetings at the model schools conference several teachers attended a session called I read and what it is it's a computer program that closes the gap before it even begins for students with phonics and reading skills and it addresses all the components of the common core standards that we've adopted of course and it has um, an assessment piece that when students they work at their own uh, rate of progression and as they do their assessments it provides teachers with intervention activities so once we identify those students with those weaknesses we can do intervention groups automatically instead of having to wait till we do dibbles and <coughs> other assessments like that that come you know space far apart through the year but Mrs. Ferguson has purchased this for our school and we're waiting for training and I think we'll begin probably in November sometime with that but one of the best things that I have seen that has come for the primary level so but that was the part that we really enjoyed along with some other sessions so it was very good. Lord, what grade does that begin with? K2. That's, it goes K2. Oh, in kindergarten mm -hmm. that begins? Yeah, it begins in kindergarten and it goes through grade two if you have students that go out that are on lower levels you can use it for those students as well so but we checked into it and like I said she has purchased it and we will get the training and get that started with it probably in November so is this just a supplemental aid in, in addition to what mm -hmm. you already used? yeah yeah so. and I always wrap up I Ms. Graham and I can't even say how proud we are of our staff and as Holly mentioned that um, our trainings were in-house we have some great teachers that um, are on staff and you're you're looking at most of them that do that training um, they go to training and they come back and they're very willing to um, share that information um, I also want to uh, stress the fact that we were fortunate enough to have um, Ms. Jan Stanley last year who helped us greatly learn a great way to do data analysis and um, we were able to take that this year and just go with it and it, 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 it was probably one of the most best things that helped our school to drive our instruction last year and um, she taught us a way to come up with the five lowest CSOs and we form uh, acuity assessments for those to reteach and to assess and to go back and that's just a continual process through the whole year. So um, we're very proud of our staff. They just 
it's such a positive um, atmosphere and place to be. The children, when um, Randy talked about the expectations, it's just amazing how quickly I can be out in the hallway and ask them a question and they'll say, yes, ma'am. And that was never before. So it really, it really has made a difference. I've seen children picking up trash on the floor that, you know, in the hallways that they would have never done before. So I think that we've made great leaps and bounds at our school and we welcome you to come visit at any time. Thank you. Steve, as a parent, I just, it's the happiest part of my day is walking in there every morning with Zara. It's just um, the attitude of the staff, just holding doors for you, saying hello to you, welcoming your child by name. Um, and then, like, like she was saying, just, just seeing kids holding the door open for each other. Things like that that, that I mightn't have seen at higher grade levels. Um, just this morning, just a little boy holding the door open for me and Zara as we walk into our rooms. Just little things like that make the day Really, after a great start. Parents' perspective, too. Yeah. Uh, those type of things that have that feeling that, as they you know, feel welcome with their coming to school. Because I know there have been times in the past when parents didn't feel welcome, and, and you all are generating a, an atmosphere there that makes them want to be there. Um, one of these days, that town policeman's going to get me because your all's display out front is really <laughs> wonderful. I really love that. Uh, I said, well, I'm going to stop here and take a picture. I said, well, I'm going to get a ticket. <laughs> but uh, but I, it really is, it, it's inviting from the outside. It really is. I, I look at it every day when I go back and forth. And, uh, really We've impressive. tried to make it. Yeah. But uh, I, for you all, I appreciate all of you being here tonight that you took your time to come here. Um, you know, sometimes maybe just first. And it's fantastic. They have to come here sometimes, mm -hmm. you know. But, uh, they, nobody had come here. This was your all's activity. You know, it's not your LSI report. LSI report to you're coming here if you're on relation and we appreciate all of you coming tonight. Uh, we apologize that you had a drill instructor go with you to the model conference and you, know, you had to do all this homework and thing and, and that's part of it I guess. But you know, I think the board's always uh, uh, wants to provide any opportunities that we can assist you on going on. I mean, many of these things are through grants and all but anytime that we can do things that can help you to go to other venues to learn things that you can bring back that obviously seem to be successful. You know, we're, that's what we're all about. Uh, this is a cooperative effort amongst us all. Uh, Ms. Lucas, do you have anything to add or share? Well, uh, I do. I would like to say, you know, as, as they have presented this evening, you know, their four days, um, they were packed full and they utilized every minute uh, focused on what they need to do to make their school better for their students. And, and I think they are to be commended because they spend a lot of time looking at the data uh, for each child. What, what should we do to help those children succeed and uh, do better as well as make that school more inviting, all student-centered and uh, very parent-oriented and uh, community-oriented, and I just applaud you all. Uh, so appreciate it. it. It is a joy to go uh, to Hamlin Pre-K-8 and uh, see what good things uh, are happening there. And I appreciate you coming to share with the board Thank you. what you've done. Members of the board, anybody have anything? Um, your focus on data analysis and it's obvious that uh, your focus on achievement, you know, sometimes we forget our real purpose to be there, you know, we do a lot of fun things and all this, we all enjoy that and sometimes that entices the kids that want to be there, but, uh, you know, we've got to focus on achievement and we certainly agree with that. Uh, just before we, we don't want to dismiss you, you can leave whenever you want, but uh, you are aware that we once again submitted the, uh, the major improvement program for the windows and all that like we've done before so we're we'll all keep our fingers crossed that that, uh, that funding comes through and we're able to do that uh, we thought we got awful close last year but we didn't quite make it but that's a, you know, a combined effort of both uh, board of education funds and state funds so uh, we've submitted that and we we're hopeful that we'll be able to get that and maybe improve things and from the, for the facility uh, aspect of it in addition to what you're doing on the inside there Okay, anything else there? No, we just really appreciate that you are interested in, in knowing and, let, and asking us to come out. So, anytime. anytime. You're all welcome anytime to come to see us.
We have some, some other projects, um, up and coming projects too. Um, we secured a um, partnership with the Keys for Healthy Kids and CAMC, and they will be providing funding for a natural playground for us um, that will incorporate a walking track um, and some gardens so that the children may plant their own fruits and vegetables. Uh, so we're very excited about that, and that project is supposed to start on the 29th of this month. So there's going to be a lot of good things, and you guys are welcome to come anytime. And I especially invite you to come and see all the good things that we're doing there. Well, Matt, is that will that be in the back of the school, or how it will, will it be? be in the back of the school? Um, the playground area is enclosed by a fence, um, and but there is separate from the actual equipment. There's a wooded area um, just behind that and they're going to put those elements within that wooded area and they'll consist of things like um, uh, bean um, tunnels and forts there will be um, an outdoor classroom they will create uh, there's just there's a, a large variety of really um, neat things to promote health um, and healthy living and eating and exercise and fitness so we're very excited about that project. A couple of other grants we have applied for as well um, that will focus on the garden aspect. So it's going to start on the 29th. Sounds great. Stop by and you can see our progress. I don't have a healthy body. That mind doesn't work for you. Plus, <laughs> plus they probably are going to enjoy some of those things. They will. I wouldn't doubt that you may see some adults out there. If you see Mr. Curry out there one evening, they see me out there quite often. I'm talking about inside the fort. <laughs> or the walking track. Yeah, don't, don't run him off or anything. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for Thank that. Thank you.